What's good, everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel. With yours truly, of course. Oh my god. Oh, sorry, there's something in my mouth. With, with yours truly, of course, Machiavellian. Today we're back with another episode of The Sims 4 Speed Build. I have no clue what I'm talking about. But today, we're gonna go ahead and. Sorry, guys. I'm so out of it. You don't understand. I have, um. This is like. I have not played The Sims in a while. Well, a while being, um. What, three days? Or so, um, literally everything you've seen has been pre-recorded so far. I've been literally playing Pokemon. Like, I'm so addicted. It's not even funny. Like, when I go to school, I play Pokemon. When I come home, I play Pokemon. That's all I've been doing lately is been playing Pokemon and watching telenovelas. And I totally, I don't say forgot about The Sims, but God have mercy. I have, <laughs> it's been a while since I touched this game. Um, I mean, like, actually built in a while. I think the last time I built was, like, Saturday. And today is Wednesday, so... Yeah, it's, it's it's been a while. But anyways, today we're back with a, like, a modern style house. I have no clue how to describe it. I found this house on Pinterest. I've tried building this house about four different times already, and each time it just doesn't turn out right. Even this time, it doesn't turn out right, but I just like the way it turned out this time, so that's why I'm loading it. As you see, I've tried, like, you're pretty much gonna see in the first part, or like you're seeing right now, is um, I'm doing it here, but then I, I but I, then I decided to like not to do it here because I didn't like the spacing, and so I go somewhere else, and then um, yeah, I end up building this in a different lot. I think I just built it across the street from this lot because I needed a bigger lot for it to look right. Like I don't know, it's just this build was good. I like it. Hope you guys like it too. But it just took me a long time to do, and I don't know. I still I still don't like like love the way it came out, but. I'm okay with it. I know there, there's worse things that could happen, but anyways, if you guys like it, of course, go check them below. And there will be speed, there will be links, and there will be tray files this time. Um, well, tray files have to come later. I know in the last video, I was like, oh, it's coming, and it just never came. I'm sorry. I, I have I have no excuse except I just didn't turn on. I just didn't turn on my game. Literally, I was gonna do it, and then like I started playing Pokemon. Literally the day after I finished that build, I uploaded. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go do this because if I don't do it now, I'm not gonna do it. And then I was like, oh yeah, I have to finish this gym leader battle real quick too because you know my my ds was like sitting right beside my not ds my um my switch was sitting right beside me and i then like one gym battle turned to the two gym battles and then like i was like and i just lost track and i just didn't turn back on my game after that so now that my game's back on i'll go ahead and like do it for you guys um hopefully the cc links will be up today i do have to stay late actually most likely when you're watching this i'm gonna get to school um, every Wednesday I stay late at school because I feel like that's the day I can finish my projects on time. So, um, yeah, so you're pretty much going to be seeing me pretty much when you're up, when you're, pretty much when you're watching this, I'll be at school to finish up an assignment. So, yeah, bear that in mind. So, uh, anyways, guys, how y'all doing? Hope y'all doing great. Again, it feels, a, it feels like a hot minute. I don't know. I'm just used to pumping up videos every other day. I don't, I don't, not every other day, but every single day that when I take like a break like this for like, what, two three days it feels weird to me it feels it feels like i'm off my game if that makes any sense because um i don't know but um yeah so hope y'all are doing great i've just been like i said playing pokemon i actually have been um watching the trailer to like one of my favorite movies of all time i recommend you go watch it it's called um actually i'm, I'm you guys are gonna hear it but um while i was playing while i was um while i was um building this i had the I had the trailer on repeat. It's for the trailer of The Green Mile. If you've never seen the movie, it's by, I, th I think it's a Stephen King book adapted into a movie. It's really, really flipping good. Like, that movie will forever make me tear up. I don't know. This weekend, I'm feeling like I need to go cry. Don't ask me why. You know, I just, I don't say I've been emotional lately, but I've been just needing a good cry. I know that sounds weird, but sometimes I just love watching movies that can make me cry. It feels so, like, I'm sorry, but it feels so good just having a good cry. I know I'm a, I'm a guy and guys don't cry, whatever type of bullshit is that. Well, guess what? I love having a good cry. It makes me feel so free after like when i have a bunch of emotions pent up and i just sit there and just have a good myself a really good cry you can't beat the feeling honestly i feel like uh, like people like uh, and people say crying for things like i think people state that crying is only for women for some reason i don't know why because it shows weakness it doesn't I, I i honestly don't see how crying shows weakness i feel like crying shows compassion it shows empathy, it shows frustration, it shows a bunch of different emotions, but I have no clue where you got weakness from. All because somebody cries does not mean they're a weak person. Like, all because someone sheds a tear for somebody doesn't mean that they are not strong themselves. No, don't get it twisted, son. Um, crying is just a great way that someone, is just a great tool that people, like, yeah, crying should be used as a tool. Like, crying is just, I don't know, I feel like 
people put this like big like big uh this big uh i don't know what the word is like this big perspective no this big um this i don't know but i don't know what to say i don't know there's a word for it but i can't remember but they put this big like thing I can't remember what the word is, but we'll put this thing on, like, crying and how you should not cry and how if you're raised at a young age to never show your tears or to never cry in front of people, which I get because, uh, uh, like, personally, I think crying in front of a bunch of people, people is just awkward as hell. Like, I've done before where I just burst out crying. Like, I remember one time I was about to break down. Like, I was about to break down, and then I couldn't hold it back, so I started sobbing in the elevator, and people were just looking at me, and I'm just sitting in there crying. Like, <laughs> and they're like, are you? Hey, and I'm like, I'm fine. And you know it's one of those, like, fine, like, I'm fine, but I'm, like, sniffling, like, I'm, I'm fine. You know, like, I don't sound fine at all. But, um, anyways, like, I understand crying in public. That That's just awkward. But I just feel like crying itself is, is, is a t- it's, it's something that should not be looked down upon. Again, that's just me. Like, if my friends, or my, not my friends, but if my kids say, oh, dad, I'm gonna cry, or I'm gonna cry, then cry. Like, don't, don't stop yourself from showing emotion. Like, get those emotions out. Like, I guess some people, you know, they take those sad emotions and they might want to get it out physically, whether it be beating somebody up or beating up a punching bag. I don't know. Or they might want to get it out creatively, whether it be painting something or, you know, painting something, making music, you know, get out that get out that emotion creatively. And, and if your way of getting out emotion is just having a cry, then go ahead, have your cry. Like, don't let anybody stop you from having your cry. Like, I need to actually... See, it's funny... Because, like, some of my advice I don't take. Like, I like I say it because, you know, I that's what I think. But then sometimes it's kind of hard to, like, re, re um, act from some if I'm sort of a hypocrite because sometimes we be saying, oh, it's okay and everything. But then what happens to you, I'm like, oh, I'm not okay. But, um, with this one, I'm, I'm putting my foot down on because I just don't see the, the thing of, uh, like, appealing kids, even boys. Like, I still remember when I was a kid, my dad hated when I was crying. He thought that was weak. And me and my dad have never seen eye to eye. He has said some effed up sh- when I was growing up about me and some other type of stuff. But, again, and then he's my dad. But still, some stuff were said, and we never saw eye to eye. And so there's, like, I don't know. That's why I guess the appeal of crying just even suits more to me because I feel like with him, he had this, like, macho masculinity of what he wants his son to be like, and I wasn't that. I'm not macho. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pops. I'm not macho, and I feel like he wanted a macho kid, and he didn't get it, and so he was disappointed in that sense, and so he kind of took that disappointment out of me and, like, had these high expectations, you know, I can't cry, I can't do gymnastics, I can't, um... I can't do this, I can't do that, you know, because he didn't want his son to do that. And so it kind of put a damper on my childhood, and I kind of, it kind of, I was kind of growing up catering to him. Wow, why I'm talking about my daddy issues, okay, that sounds so wrong, but when we're talking about that. But anyways, yeah, me and my dad just don't have the best relationship. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. We will leave it at that, because I have no clue we're getting so deep for it. But yeah, I just feel like sometimes when you're craving a good cry, just cry. Something wrong. Like, like for example, when you're craving a like when you're craving a good laugh, go watch something that makes you laugh. You know, like our bodies or our minds or ourselves, we have cravings for something. Whether it be sadness, happiness, laughter, horror, wanting to be scared. Like, do you really like when you watch a horror movie? You want to be scared. You want to be. You want to feel creeped out. You know, that's why you watch horror movies. Be be honest, like is that isn't that true? Because I don't, I personally don't watch a lot of horror movies, but I feel like when people do watch it, they want to be creeped out, they want to be scared, they want to feel fear, you know, they want to just feel like this old, this like, I don't know, feel the emotions that's going on, you know, jump scares, all that type of stuff. I feel like that's what they're striving for when they watch scary movies. But again, that's just that's just an emotion that's totally fine. But again, that's just my appeal from it. I think that crying wait maybe because i cry a lot that's why i think crying is fine but i think crying at any age is fine it's like it's a great way of getting emotion and i use it a lot when i get frustrated i just cry and it helps me out it honestly helps me out and it makes me a calmer person and i don't need to punch anybody but again like i said i guess this is like talking about emotions and different ways of getting emotions out okay comment down below what's your way of getting emotions out like for me like i said i need to have a good cry either a good cry or I just like I either write songs. Yes, I used to be a songwriter growing up. Ooh, those days. Um, I either write songs. I either have a good cry, write songs, or I don't know. I just pace. 
I think pacing is a great way. Like I pace and I get my thoughts out. Um, I'm a person that likes like my best ideas come when I walk or when I'm just walking around. I can't sit still and think. It just it just nothing works out. Like literally when I'm doing my assignments at school and I need a pace, I just go walk to the washroom and then I just walk back and forth in this thing because pacing, I don't know. I might be the only and I'm not I'm not the only one, but I think pacing helps me focus and helps me track down. Like whenever I'm walking, I always think of these great ideas, and then when I'm sitting, they never, they never really come, you know? They take, they take a while, a bit more while, uh, it takes a long time. Like, when I'm like when I'm thinking of, like, what am I going to do for my, like, my Life with the Pearson series, or any series that's coming up, I literally take my dog for a walk, and then while we're on a walk, I, that's when I think, like, all my ideas for Life with the Pearsons has come when I'm taking my dog for a walk. Uh, well, not all of them, but most of them recently have been coming from taking my dog for a walk, and so I've been always, um, I don't know, just walking has always been... A tool for me if that makes any sense like I don't like it that much but like it's a great way to get my thoughts out I guess if that makes any sense but anyways um hope you guys enjoyed this I want to thank you guys so much for watching I'm um, actually one more time we're at we are at 11 minutes okay I got another like what three minutes on me okay um what do y'all want to talk about real quick so let's actually get back to the story about not the story oh yes today we're supposed to continue with the oh sh I forgot today we're supposed to continue with the story okay listen I'll, I promise I'll let you guys I'll, I'll continue with it the next part because I just I forgot it, it ran my mind until I thought about it now I will continue with my um my my fitness my Phillips legacy story in the next one, but um anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I want to thank you guys so much so much so much for watching um I just want to give you guys a quick every single one of you a quick shout out honestly you guys um this week was an amazing week I want to thank you guys so much for that um I don't know what to say I I just honestly I I feel like I say thank you all the time but it's just never enough like I want to do more giveaways for you guys but at the moment I can't afford them I really can't um I know a lot of people state that YouTubers make a lot of money but um I'm in college and I'm trying to I'm trying to be debt free um so I can't spend the money that I wish I could, like other YouTubers can so and I thank you guys because you guys have not asked me for some that much like I know some people ask for giveaways and you guys have been so understanding and haven't asked me for a giveaway which makes a less pressure on me but I do want to I do want one to come up so I think I might be doing one for Christmas I did one um for Island Living and that one was like kind of a fail but the person ended up getting the game anyway so it kind of it was a success too so I might do one again for New Year's so stay tuned not year, New Year's New Year's slash the thanksgiving so stay tuned for that uh, i just want to go ahead and put that out there because i do want to thank you guys because you guys have literally changed my life like that is a big statement to say about somebody's life but you guys have changed it and you guys have put me on this path to um something that i'm doing that i love i don't know i just i, just, I don't know i just i guess i was just i was just at um i was just somewhere i guess i was out school and people were complaining about their work and this is not technically my job but I treat it as my job because I, I want to give out a quality and you know be there for my subscribers even though sometimes I'm very punctual and I don't deliver I miss I, I, I admit um, but I do want to you know think of this as like a very important hobby in my life and I'm just proud I'm just happy like I said I don't make a lot of money but I'm just happy that I I'm able to make something for myself and provide for myself and like also the, the like the biggest reward is like getting like being independent for my mom because my mom's struggling right now I hate I hate I don't want to say that I won't talk about it but we're going through some ish right now and honestly you guys help me out and help my my family out so much by just watching my videos so I just want to come and say thank you for that like honestly I really appreciate it because if you guys I can support my mom and I can't, I can't express how much that means to me. So thank you, every single one of you guys for watching me. Even the haters, thank you for watching my video, honestly. You really, you really helped me out. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy this build. I'll see you, on, and I'll see you guys then. Bye, guys. I'm out. Just peace. Later. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Oh, no, I think I've lost my mind. I think I've lost it all.